Australia's home test summer will conclude here at the Gabba with the second test against the West Indies. All eyes are on the weather over the next few days. It's forecast to start fine tomorrow, but there is some rain due to sweep in over the weekend. Quite how much there will be and how much time we may lose remains to be seen. But one of the good things about this summer is the test matches have moved pretty quickly. So there's still a good chance that even if we lose a substantial amount of play to the weather, that we can still get a positive result here. Australia, of course, starting huge favourites, looking to wrap up the summer 5-0. Hasn't always been absolutely convincing from them, but they found a way to score enough runs and the bowling attack has just been outstanding from start to finish. West Indies, while they need a lot more from their top order, if they're to Comp to compete. The fast bowlers showed they could put some pressure on the Australians in Adelaide, but they need far more from their captain, Craig Brathwaite, if they really are to compete and put a total on the board that can challenge Australia. This is the Gabba's third day-night test match. They hosted Pakistan back in 2016-17 when Ashad Shafiq nearly pulled off a famous run chase and then Sri Lanka a few years later in 2018-19. It's normally in Adelaide, this test match, of course, the pink ball game this season with some change in the scheduling. It's here at the Gabba. Australia's overall record in day-night test is outstanding. It's 11 from 11. They've never been beaten. And most of the results um, have been very wide margins. Of course, it started with a, a tight game against New Zealand in Adelaide all those years ago, but they've really found a way uh, to play a strong brand of cricket in day-night test matches on home soil. So how the next few days plays out will be fascinating to see. It would be a miracle if West Indies could get a victory, and it could be that Australia are trying to beat the weather.